It's your boy, Revolutionary Cuz, your favorite freedom fighter, favorite freedom fighter, ducking it everywhere. Don't believe me? Act the bitch nigga about me. You dig? Loving this cold rapper here, I apologize. I'm sorry I've been MIA like Officer Ricky, but I'm still here. I know I've been missing the action, all the fuckery going on. But um, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Um, Joel Santana got a new track uh, featuring Bobby Smurder and Rod Rowdy Rebel. Shout out to them GS9 niggas, free the cuz. But um, it kind of saddens me, sickens me. Hurts my heart that now all of a sudden niggas is repping Bobby Smurda all over again. Where just the other day all he needed was a million dollars bail that he couldn't get from all these celebrities that can't come and put a hundred thousand dollars down since we're all ballers out there and shit you dig. But um I guess Roddy Rebel and Bobby Smurda is basically on the hook of the song. What happened to all that New York love shit you dig? Like all of a sudden niggas is you no, know, niggas can't show nigga no love, niggas Doing the Bobby Smarter dance and shit, niggas was acting like male groupies and shit. That all of a sudden, cuz get locked up, niggas, niggas can't, you know, get no motherfucking money in their books. I mean, you know, no jail visits and shit. Like the world don't forgot about Bobby Smarter, you dig? Then all of a sudden, he gets sentenced, he gets an actual release date. Then he takes a charge so his mans can get a lighter sentence. They're like, oh shit. Bobby Smurda is real, Bobby Smurda is real, but nobody really gives a fuck about the nigga. If y'all really give a fuck about him, y'all would have had a nigga bail money out. Nigga would have given a nigga a million dollars to sign a nigga. Like, hey, this your money, let me help you in the situation, but guess what? You're my artist now. Let's get this money, let's make this money back, because that's what we do. I mean, you give these artists advances with the expectation that, you know, they're going to make that money back. And Bobby Smurda was one of the quote, unquote, the hottest niggas out there in New York City. Uh, when I found out about the nigga, he was about his... Getting locked up, you know. I guess I, I've been out the music scene for quite a bit now, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with that because I'm glad I've been I've been missing out all the other bullshit and fuckery going on. But um, yeah, Joel Santana, man, like <sighs> I missed missed the Dipset era days. That's when music game was actually well, not the music game, but New York music game was at its purest form. That's why I don't know why everybody got mad at uh, fucking uh, Trinidad and Jane when he's like, you know, New York niggas lost their way. The last time New York was really popping and cracking was like the Dipset era. That's real nigga shit. That's when like Peter Seeker was on the rock and like niggas was really going hard up north. Now niggas wearing blouses, a hundred tight necklaces and shit. And I mean like, game's fucked up.